Put a shot just before there on that. Keep your clamp in place now. Yeah. All out. We've got to finish now. Right. So something a little bit different today. We've come and we are fishing Barston in the Catchmore Media Commercial Knockout Final. So just something a little bit different to the normal 20 peg midweekers that we fish. So, um, we just started, so I've drawn 48, which I'm not unhappy about. I'm very close to the fish. I'm happy that I'm near this point. It's always a very good area, 50, 52, 54. Always a lot of carp around that point, so I'm not far off. But I'm still very undecided how my, my match is going to, or what I'm going to do. So I've started on a bag. I've threw a bag out just to try and catch a carp, um, a little PVA bag, right in the middle of the lake. Just see if I can get a quick pull in the first half hour. I'll give that two or three casts. But I haven't decided yet, I'm going to give it 15 minutes and just watch it around and just decide whether to fish for skimmers or whether to fish a, a loose fed 8mm pellet line um, and fish a waggler or a bomb and a, a feeder over the top of that potentially. So it's quite nice here because I've got quite a bit of gravel, probably about 20, 25 metres, so it's nice and hard. But I just don't know whether there's going to be the volume of carp and F1s here to warrant fishing for them. I think a, a skimmer route, just to be sensible with a peg I've drawn, may be the way to go but so i'm going to give it 15 minutes and then we're going to decide so, so i'm going to be nice and patient with this i'm going to have a cast every seven or eight minutes i'm going to have three casts on this and then from there we're going to see where to go so next us is already playing a playing a small fish on a feeder so there could be a few fish to be caught but other than that no it's a, a very simple day so two lines potentially once we start actually fishing properly a skimmer line and a, a loose fed eight mil pellet line and other than that this little area here from the point until this big tree, for whatever reason, there always seems to be a few fish caught down the edge. I've never even put a rig down the edge before at Barston, so, but today so I've plumbed up just in, in probably about two and a half foot of water. I'm going to put a line down there as well just to see if we catch a few, but we'll see how it goes. I knew that would do that. Right, so just give me a second just to, just to feed me pole line because I forgot to do that and I need to. One pot in and see. Um, pellet, pellet tank corn. You, you want me to do talking? Yeah. Right, so quickly, I just had a quick cast then. Um, long, and we had a bit of a wobble, but I think it was just a skimmer whizzing on the end of it. But in the last 10 minutes, I must have seen five or six big skimmers stick their heads out, you know what I mean, just top in this area. So, we're going to fish for skimmers. I fish this, so I've just fed, just fed some softened four mil screttings, which is really, really important that they've got to be screttings because we're fishing for skimmers. I'm going to give them a little bit down the edge as well. Um, yes, I've had a pot of scratchings, four mils that I've just softened up just to take the edge off them. And a little bit of corn, just at 13 metres. And I'm going to ping, because it's really, really important on here. The skimmers love making a bit of noise, or they love coming into a bit of noise. So what I'm planning on doing is loose feeding. Um, what am I going to loose feed? Soft four mils over the top and then fish a very light rig and try and catch some skimmers through the water on it. I think. But I definitely think this is gonna be 
It's not going to fish really well, I don't think. I've yet to see a proper fish get caught. I've seen a couple of skimmers getting caught, but no one has yet caught a carp. Not even the, there's a few, few pleasure anglers opposite as well, and they're not catching. So I think it's safe to say it's going to be a, a lower weight jobby overall. I think there'll be a couple of big weights somewhere, but it's not going to be here. Where should we go? Let's not go too far. It's very, very, very silty out there. I've put quite a long up length on out there just to... Yeah, like I said, a couple of skims on that method, but it's too slow. Yeah, very silty out there, so it's not worth feeding anything out there really. So by using a bag with a, a fairly long up length, It's given me a chance for my, my lead to plug into the silt, but hopefully my bag's still going to land on top of the silt a bit lighter. But right, that's it, yeah, 15 minutes in, and I know what I'm going to do. So I might half-heartedly ping a few pellets long, just in case I need to drop on that. But no, I'm going to I'm gonna have half an hour for carp long, and I'm going to fish the skimmers today with an edge rig. And we're going to see how we do. Yeah, hopefully. So there's a lot of proper skimmers in here, lots of like pound and a half to three pound. There's loads of them. And if you can get it to yourself, which at the minute, I've not seen either side of me feed a pole line. So if I can end up getting that to myself, there'll be potentially a lot of fish that could be caught. If the fish is a little bit tricky, so it might put us in with a chance. I think it's about sort of being realistic today. It's, so there's 40 on, he's only paying top eight or ten overall, no sections. But I've got to be realistic for what I can catch from here. I don't think I can win much, so I'll just do what do what I can do, be sensible. Instead of going all out for carp and having a bad day, catching 20, 30 pound, hopefully if I can fish for skimmers, I'll be able to put a decent-ish weight in the net. I'm just going to start now. I've got that bait settled. Just pinging a few, not many, just literally 10, 15 pellets over the top, just every now and again, because I don't want to spread my bait too much before I go on it. Just a couple of lots of 10 over the top of that. Just to put a little bit of bait in the area, just so they respond to the noise. It's amazing how much these skimmers respond to the noise on here. They, they remind me of fishing for F1s. And instead of having big bulk down heavy rigs that you'd associate with brain fishing normally, it, it's so much better to fish like through the water really nice and gently. And you catch all the great big ones, or well, you catch a lot more great big ones than you do than if you fish a really heavy static rig on a deck. But I'd say I'm going to give that one, I'd give that at least 15 20 minutes just to see another big skimmer. Then I'm going to give that at least 15 20 minutes just to, to develop a little bit, get a few fish feeding. So I'll continue with this. I'm going to have another two more casts on this because I still haven't seen it out get caught anywhere. So there's definitely not a lot in this area. So we'll just keep an eye out on people and then see where to go next. The skin bobs in it, they're never. I was gonna say, they're never gonna be carp. <laughs> no, it's not. It, it just, it thought it wanted to be a carp for a few seconds. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, more than likely. Right. So that second cast, and that's just gone round. But he's not a great big wallower, unfortunately. He's just a... He's either a big skimmer. Hopefully them planes aren't too noisy. He's either a big skimmer. Oh, my usual F1. There's a carp just top there, man. That's a lot. Looking that way now, playing this fish. I must have just saw four or five fish top then just off that point so that's a very very favorable area that as well i'm saying that one just plugged plopped out in front of me as well and again not a big gap that though that's just a not a shocking start you wouldn't mind catching them every single chuck but not what we want on this method really so he's nailed perfectly right in there the middle of the bottom lip in. Horrible fish skimmers, aren't they? 
You're very slimy, Rich. <laughs> make all me PVA bags melt, that is. <sighs> but right, we're off the mark. So that definitely warrants another cast on this. I'm just going to... That line. Hmm. Could be an F1. I don't think it is. No, skin bob square pants. Right, well I'll give that, I'll give it a little bit longer. I've ended up half an hour uh, on a bag. And what did I end up with? I ended up with two decent skimmers. But I just don't feel like I'm going to catch a carp. But what I am getting, I'm getting an... That's a carp then. I'm getting an occasional liner uh, on that one, because my bait's actually going through when I'm chucking the bag, it's going through me pellets that I've loose fed. So I'm just going to have a quick chuck over the top of these pellets. See if there's any fish feeding on that. So while I'm still pinging that skimmer line that I'm hopefully going to fish. So I just want another 15 minutes for me skimmer line to, to mature. So I'm just going to have a quick, quick chuck over the top where I pinged a few pellets where the bottom's actually a little bit harder as well. So I feel like I'm in really silty water out there, uh, silty bottom out there where I'm chucking on the long one. So on this short one, it definitely feels a lot harder than it is. It's on this point, it's sort of known for having a bit of, a bit of gravel. Feed some pallets, so I've got a nice little mark where to throw this. That went in horrifically, but we'll give it a cast. Let's give it one chucks, it's ever so shallow there. I'm barely, I'm barely feeling it hit the bottom, it's that shallow. Quick chuck over the top of over the chocolate pallet, see if I can get a bite. I'll just see if there's any line, just see if there's many fish in that area. And if this doesn't work, then it is all out slimy skin bob fishing, I think. But we'll see. So I'm still only still, oh no, we've had a bit, we've had 45 minutes now. So there's not a lot gone in the net. There's only three pound gone in the net. But there's not a lot getting caught anywhere that I've seen. So the chap next to me has had an F1 and two skimmers. And the chap this side, I think he's had a carp. There was lots of splashing going on. I think he's had a carp. I don't know how big it was. It looked decent. Uh, and an F1 and a skimmer as well. So it's only, it's just the look of what your tip goes round with when it comes to chucking that bag or a method long, but I don't want to play that game. I want to. I want to feed some bait and catch some fish over where I'm feeding if I can. So in this area where I don't feel there's a huge amount of carp in in the middle of the lake, I just think it's too risky to play that. Chuck it and and wait for a bite game. I mean, it could pay off, but I very rarely have seen it pay off in this area. So I think I've got to be sensible. And just catch what the peg's capable of, definitely. So I've definitely not got lucky with an early carp, which is a shame. It'd have been nice to, to catch a big lad just to start things off. See, I've not had the liner on this as well. It's, I've, I was really hoping to go on this and and to see some things happening straight away. So I didn't really want to feed over the top of that, but... Let's see, so the only thing with that long line is that other the long line that I'm feeding with these pellets. This is my best chance of catching carp, I think. So I'm reluctant to not feed it at all, but at the same time, I might just be wasting my time. The thing is, that the same as with my skimmers, I seem to have got it to myself a bit. I mean, either side of me aren't really feeding anything. Um, they're not feeding anything with a catty, which is, I mean, a big thing if I can have that to myself again, but I'm quite confused at what, what I need to be doing. 
still not out of line on this. To do what to do. I'll give it five minutes and see what happens. In fact, yeah, we'll have a five minute cast, then we'll have another five minute cast, and then we'll go and fish for skimmers. We've got four hours then to fish for skimmers, if that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully, that'll be the right way. So there's still quite a few fish topping. We're going to look around, there's plenty of fish blodging, but I think the vast majority of them are skimmers. So there's an occasional carp right down the middle that you see moving, but other than that, there's not. I don't think there's many carp here. See another big skimmer then just stuck its head on. Mm, right. So yeah, we'll give it this cast. Two more minutes on this cast. Then I'll feed, chuck it in again. Five more minutes, if it hasn't gone round, then I am skimmer fishing. Better loving it. I thought that was a little tiny fish to begin with. I thought that was a skin bob or something. The way it was coming in. Pardon? then, he's a massive big daddy F1. So yeah, it's all we catch though, isn't it? Come on, flip again. One more. Right, well we are an hour in, and ain't happening. Oh, wait, I've had, I've had a big F1, probably a great big F1 in fact, probably about four pound on that, on me long line, on me over me pellets. So it just doesn't feel like there's many fish there. I mean, I've had a liner other than that one little liner. So well, I'm not going to discard it completely just yet. Ow, that it. I am going to um, drop on these skimmers and just see how many skimmers are feeding so it's always been a case here of it being very good for skimmers when when it is good when they're feeding it's quite quick it's quite easy to see what's going on so i'm just going to feed a couple of bits of corn a couple of micros but mainly just four mil pellets some softened four mil pellets is all they're going to get so i've got a very light carbon stem 4b12 rig on which is completely wrong for skimmers in most situations, and probably is today as well, knowing me. But I have always found here that light rig's the best by a long, long way. So I'm gonna, just as we want to have a go of it, that wind wants to get off. Tap that bait and make a bit of noise. I'll put dolly butt on just so I can just stretch just past my feed. I'm gonna cling onto that and see what happens. See, that rig's ever so unstable in, in that wind, but I don't know why, they just like it here. They like it. A messy rig aside to a, a really heavy traditional skimmer type rig. Just cling on to, there's still not a lot getting caught around me. People that are chucking, they're catching fish, but they're just catching skimmers. And to me, waiting 10 minutes for a skimmer bite at 60, 70 yards just ain't the way to go. So if we can clatter them quickly here, that'll be nice. 
But if this doesn't kick off within 10 or 15 minutes, then unfortunately we are going for the patient boring approach to today's match in that we're going to just fish for carp. But so hopefully, I'm sure we'll be able to make something work and catch some skimmers on this at, at some point. But for the minute, we've had no bites. Let's see what happens. Casually hook a 20 pounder first chuck on it. Oh, you. Not good, that's not what we wanted. But there was the only good thing I will say is that was the right size of skimmer I want to catch. If we can catch them big lads like that, that'll be lovely. Pellets just need wetting down a tiny bit more. I'll do that in a minute. So you want them for skimmers, I find. Just having your pellets just sort of slightly breaking down. You like that? That was a bit delicate with that one, then I should have just whacked it. And ship back in nice and quick. I always find that if I fanny about with these skimmers and take your time with them too much, they just fall off like that one did. So we won't do that anymore. That was a good sign for a minute, love, wasn't it? I got excited for a sec and then it fell off. No. Never. It is, and you play it like a tart on these days. Not on the catch them things. Yeah, play it like a tart, and it does. Landed one, dude. I think so. I think you should ban carp, Thomas. Yeah. How good would Barston be if carp weren't involved? Yeah. It'd be a proper place, this, wouldn't it? Might be a foot one, this. They keep to, every time I look up, there's one there on that point. They're, they're going to catch it at some point. Hey, what? I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's all we can catch in it. F1s, that's all we catch. Rather big F1s are in here, aren't they? Yeah, I'll take for 30 of them. What's that? Five pound? Steady five pound F1. Yeah, let's just catch them. On me, yeah, 08 skimmer rig. You like it? So that's my little secret on here, Thomas. Beautiful. We're going to go for lunch, aren't we? Do you think I'm joking, don't you? You bring it down, think I'm like. No, let's just go for lunch. No, no, I'm only checking. We'll go for lunch. We'll just say more, more to fishing than winning. So we're going to go and enjoy a lovely steak sandwich now.
with a pint of cider. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, a lot of people wouldn't go back to the pegs, pegs though, would they? They'd just stay in the pub and, oh, that's the end. It would be better. I still agree it'd be better, yeah. All right, let's pretend. <laughs> oh, they keep having it on, I keep missing him. I've got cheapo as the corn, it's all big instead of being sexy and little. Right, well I've had now half an hour on this skimmer line. And I think I'm happy with how it's going. It's, it's quite tricky with this wind blowing into me with this little rig. But there's definitely, there's, there's fish present. So I started with an expander on the hook and I caught a couple. But I was catching a few little tiny ones and missing a few bites as well. So I swapped to some corn on the hook. And it seems to be all right. It, it, so I'm missing a few bites, but I'm putting that down to some of these little fish being present in my peg. But I'm putting decent fish in there. I think I must have had six or seven decent skimmers, sort of a pound, and a great big F1, probably four or five pound. So that there's a lot more going in me net doing this than there was anything else. And still around me, no one's, no one's catching, no one's catching any carp. So I've literally seen one carp caught. So Tom's just been for a walk round as well. And he's let us know, oh, that could be on. He's just let us know that so three carp seems about best, that she's got a 30 pound. But say doing this, I must have, I've just put 10 pound in the net, easy. So those two F1s on their own must go about eight pound. So at the moment, I'm, paid, I'm dead, dead happy. But I am a little worried about what other anglers could be doing, just how easy them carp could have a feed. So what I am doing, I'm continuing to ping me, me eight mil line, I'm nowhere near the regularity as I was before, but I'm pinging it with just a little bit of bait every now and again, just in case. Not so much of a carp, I think there's a chance of chucking a method over that. I'm just catching an odd big F1 if I ever, if I ever need to rest this skimmer line. So I've just got to fall back just in case. And then also we might be able to catch a few down this edge. But we'll see. Mm. Yes, we'll see what happens. But now this, it's amazing. Same as, as always at Barston, just how, how good this really light rig is. The amount of bites that I'm getting just on the settle and they're off the bigger fish as well. They're always off the, the bigger skimmers just as it goes in. It, it's unbelievable. If you were to just leave it, set and wait, you, you'd catch, you'd definitely catch some fish, but you'd catch the littlest stamp of fish. So we've not even caught any of the monsters yet. We've caught quite a few. Say so pound, pound and a half. Is. So they are responding. And I've not caught any of the little tiny skimmers either. The, sorry, not the tiny ones, the sort of, six to eight ounce ones, which I think it's actually a good thing because they can quite often take over your peg as well. And you get lots of bites and great fishing, but you don't put a lot of weight in your net. Whereas if I can keep putting these pound to two pound ones in my net, well, that'll be right good. I think I say, I'm still not disillusioned thinking that fishing in this way is capable of winning. Like I said, I think I've just got to be realistic and hope for a low-ish weight to be needed, and maybe I can sneak in the top eight off a, a bit of a dodgy draw. But, so we'll plod along. It definitely seems catching spells with these. You, you go in, catch three or four really quick. And it goes a little bit quiet, although last time it went quiet, I caught that great big F1. So maybe it means that there's a big fish in me pegs, but I don't think it is. I just think that there's not millions there at the minute, here we go on the settle again, the amount of bite that you get on that settle. I'm still trying to track fish into my peg, I've not stopped pinging over the top. So I'm cupping in my little accurate area whenever I go in. Is that going to go? No. But I'm also making sure I'm making lots of noise, I want to get lots of fish in my peg. So that noise is going to drag some skimmers in the peg, but it's also going to have the, the added bonus of, it always seems to bring a few. Not many, you know what I mean? If I catch five, it would be brilliant, but a few big F1s in. 
but let's say five F1s on here can go, you know, 20 pound plus easy with the size of these things in here. A lovely average stamp, everyone's a, a pound every single go. So they are, they're slowly adding up. They're all new fish, they could even be the 10 ounce ones that we were catching last year or year before. Quite easily with the amount of bait that goes in this place. So just a little. I'm trying to choose a smaller grain of corn seems to be quite important just for not missing too many bites. Alex had a carp next to me maybe. So he had a carp before, he lost it at the net. I don't know whether he's gone in and knocked another one. Who no. knows? So, plan is, at the minute, I'm gonna just stay on this. There's no point coming off it. Not a lot being caught. I'm definitely not falling behind. I'm catching up, if anything. So, we're gonna carry on and see how much life this peg's got in it, as long as it doesn't fizzle out. But if needed, as I say, we can always chuck on that method and see if we can catch a couple on that. But at the minute, we're quite happy. No, nope. big foul hook skimmer. It's <laughs> exciting though, isn't it, that? Roughly exciting. <laughs> just like popped up to it. Hello? Uh, what's going on? Should go for a top four posing one. <laughs> what? Hasn't it? Can it not reach it? <laughs> the thing is, if it comes off, me rig's gone, on it? Yeah. If we can catch those ones, dude, then we can do winning with them ones, can't we? You filming? Yeah. Best not. That's getting edited, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Caught him twice. Yeah, what's that? Three quid? Dude, this is getting like interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I've put my skimming it in the wrong place as well. I'll put it over there. Instead of it being the nice easy one to just go dumb. I've we'll just put five pound and then that in ten minutes, in it, in five minutes. Right. What have I had now? I've had two hours. And that skimmer line's definitely been alright, but it just seems to have fizzled a little bit. I've just lost a big foul look something then. I think in fact it was a big foul look skimmer, I'd load a snot on my line. But there just seem to be an odd carp getting caught. So the lads either side of me are still just chucking. I'm still flinging it in. Um, past the feed in the middle of the lake. And so they've had, Alex is probably a five or six F1s now. And the lad on my left had three big carp. So while I'm still catching, I'm putting a few fish in the net. I'm putting a few fish in the net on that skimmer line. I think I'm just, I'm slightly behind everyone. I'm not quite putting that weight in the net. 
at the minute and they seem very erratic as well. I seem to be catching three and then waiting five or ten minutes and then catching another two. So it's not really fast and furious at the minute. So I've just chucked this back out over the top of my pellets that I've been feeding, uh, where my duck is. Just to see if I can nick a quick fish on this. Uh, while I've refed my skimmer line, I put another pot of a bit of everything in on that skimmer line, a bit of corn and some micros and a few four mills again, just to try and drag a few more into the peg and to settle them down a bit. And yeah, I'm gonna have a quick five minutes on this, see if I get any indications, see if any line is a fish over my bait. And I might even, if this doesn't go round or I don't get indications on this in the next few minutes, I might have a quick chuck on that bag long in the middle. Just see, just give it 10 minutes. Just see if it's worth sitting out there for a big fish. Maybe there's a few in the area. I don't know. So I'm not visually, I'm not seeing any. There's nothing sticking the red out. But it might just be worth a, a quick chuck. I might get lucky and get a pull off a 10 pounder. You never know. So I've fed me edge again. I'll just give that a little bit more bait. Just hopefully there might be a, a chance of a fish down there. Maybe, I don't know. But I'm definitely gonna have a little go on it later on to see if anything comes in on that. So now on the whole, I'm, I'm not quite sure how it's fishing. Tom's been for another walk around and, oh, seems a liner on my stuff then. That was a fish. Um, yeah, Tom's been for a walk around. He says there's a couple of people with sort of five and six carp, which is that on here, you're probably looking at 30, 40 even 50 pound with that so i'm well behind that i've probably got about 20 pound in the net at the minute so i think so for me to catch the most i'm going to catch is going to be them skimmers but they just they need nature and i definitely can't clatter them and catch a load of them i don't know if i'd have been better fishing for skimmers sort of on this line maybe a nice a nice feeder approach all day with a nice little pellet feeder or something that might have been a good a nice day but it's no good thinking about that now. So I was saying, I'm going to give this a couple more minutes. So there's not too much sign of life on this other than that one little pluck a minute ago. And then I'm going to have a quick chuck on that PVA bag. Then I'm going to have a wee. Um, and then I'm going to go back on them skimmers and see if we can catch another quick 10 pound of them. So we keep top, there's fish top in there. I don't know what they are. Seen three or four top in that sort of area. I think they're just big skimmers. So I'm really surprised at how little activity I've had on this line, considering I was sure that when I was long, when I was I was really long, my line was going through this line, and I was definitely getting a few line bites, and I, I felt that they were. I mean, there were a few fish on my feed. Maybe I just missed them. But since actually fishing it, so I've had that one pull off a, a big F1 first chuck. And other than that, very few signs. I mean, a couple of half-hearted liners that could be anything. There's no distinctive pattern that there's, or distinctive signs that there's plenty of fish feeding on the bait, which I, I don't think there is. It's definitely not. So, so I'm going to chuck that bag out. See if we get lucky, and then we're going to get back on them skin bobs. Let's see if we can catch a few of them. Right. Well, I'm proper sulking now, to be honest. We, we are three hours in. Three hours? Yeah, three hours in. And the last hour, since I came off my skimmer line after that initial burst, has been a complete and utter waste of time. So I went back on my skimmer line after resting it, expecting a little, expecting a little run, and I never had a bite. I'll tell you, I caught a roach, but there was just there was nothing there, nothing happening whatsoever. <clears throat> so uh, I left it again and just kept on pinging it a little bit, just with a few pellets over the top, just try and make something happen. Uh, I've had to go over my eight mils. I've had to go long. I've had one pull, one pull long, off another F1 about three pound. 
and then I come back on my skimmers and I just add one, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel like there's any amount of fish there. I mean, I went straight in, I caught one after a few seconds, but since then it's been another further five or 10 minutes and I've not on another bite. So I'm really starting to flap a bit now. I said, I literally, I don't know where I'm going to get a run of fish. So it's definitely fishing difficult. Not a lot of fish are getting caught. But I'm catching nothing, so... I mean, I have to make something happen. I don't know. I've got to hope that I keep feeding them eight mils, hope something comes over them, maybe. I don't think there's any life in that bomb and bag anymore, just because it's too hit or miss. You just... You throw in a bait and just hoping a fish stumbles across it. it there's not enough fishing area to to almost get away with it. So I'm going to completely disregard that now, I think. Unless I spit my dummy and I just chuck that out and give up. <laughs> but I'll try not to do that. Um, and other than that, I'd say I've only really got these edges. That's the last little bit of hope I've got is that I catch a few fish down the edge. Like I say, this area is it's the one little bit that always a few fish seem to get caught on for whatever reason. So with two hours to go, I've just fed me, me right hand edge again. So I've fed that about two or three times. Now with a little bit of bait. I might give that a little go in a minute. Just give it 10 minutes, just see if anything's there whatsoever. Just, I don't think it will, but you never know. You never know. So, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> oh. so I'm just gonna keep trying. I'm gonna swap back to expand the pellet in a sec. And just see, I think that might have been a bite there. I'm getting the odd indication there of some small fish. So swapping back to the expander. So I might catch a few little fish in this little quiet spell. But if not, so that edge needs a quick looking at just to see if I can get a few fish. And other than that, it's a bit desperate stakes, it's a shame. I think I made a big mistake at the moment coming off my skimmer line that initial after that initial burst. I should have stayed on it and eked it out for a few more pounds. I feel like I've just lost the understanding of what was happening there. And as a result, I fed too much bait and I've knackered it for the few fish that were left to be caught. So no more fish have come in after that initial bit of attraction and pulling the initial lot of fish that were in the area. Nothing seems to have come back in since. So we'll carry on. I say there's still a couple of quid to fish for you. You've got an outside chance of coming right down the bottom end of the frame. If we can get lucky with a few big ones, or if the skimmers can turn up with, well, that needs to happen soon. Do you know what I mean? For me to do a decent weight of them, I need them to turn up within the next half hour. If not, I'm just wasting my time fishing this line. I was just topped a couple of metres past. So you never know, but we'll plug on and see what happens. We might be a carp. A little baby Boston carp. Little baby Boston carp, dude. Little baby one. I'm gonna call him Barney. Barney. He's right in the right place. He's right in the middle of the bottom lip. Yeah, I'm going to call him Barney. Barney the carp. I don't know if there's a little, he might be, a, no, he's definitely a carp him. Yeah, this is my biggest one, this little. Out of nowhere, wasn't he? Out. He's a big white, he's a big sexy white one as well, isn't he? How lovely is he? What? Instant win, big ghosty. He's the sort of carp that's going to jump out my keep net in 10 minutes time, isn't he? Dude, everyone's been like beyond perfect where it's been hooked. Yeah, I'm liking doing that. That's made big, big, big difference.
Right, well, I'm in two. What are we on? Last 40 minutes ish we got left. And nothing's really progressed. It, it's, I've almost, I ain't give up, but now we are on the pellets, where I'm feeding me pellets on that, that short range, chucking them effort over it, and just sitting and waiting. And to be fair, for the last 25 minutes, it, it's a million mile away from Fast and Furious, but I've had some bites. I've had four fish. I've had, I've had a big ghosty, probably eight and a half pound. Um, I've had a little carp, you know, four pound. I've had an F1, three pound, and I've had a skimmer, two pound. So we've had some bites, you know what I mean? It's making me think that maybe a really, really, really patient just fish this line all day may have been the way to go. Because I'm not getting any indications whatsoever to, to let me know that there's numbers of fish in the peg. It just goes. I mean, I'll, I'll sit here and keep pinging a few pellets over the top to try and attract something, and it goes out the blue. So it's not been too bad, say I put 20 pound in the net in, in the last 25, 30 minutes. But, so we've got half an hour to go ish now. There's no one just top there then. Yeah, half an hour ish to go. And I can't see the point in doing anything else. So I've had a quick, quick little dabble down that edge where I've fed some bait down the edge and I've caught some roach on it. There's a load of roach down there. And I, I just feel that in the time that I could spend in the edge, yes, I might catch one or two, but I'm just as likely to catch them out there where I am now as well. So I can't see the point uh, of changing anything. I mean, this is undoubtedly they're going to be the method that I put the biggest net uh, weight in the net in the in the time remaining. So for me, it's a no-brainer. I'm just going to sit it out on this and say and plod along. I reckon we've got what have we got in the net now? I'd say we're in the forty-pound gang, which I reckon we're going to need another ten pound, maybe twenty pound to sneak into the winning money gang. So we've just got our fingers crossed that we'll get a few pulls off a couple more big lads in the last little period. So there's every chance it'll happen. So it's the best time, best time in a match for us to catch a couple of big fish. So the last thing I want to be doing is skipping all over the place like I have been doing and not just sitting, being patient, waiting for a bite. Because that way I could miss my little run if any fish do come along. So while well it's oh I didn't like that. So while well it's definitely not been a, a straightforward match, in theory it should have been. Yes, I'm definitely not happy with myself today. I, I've I didn't commit to anything enough today. I should have just gone down the carp route or the skimmer route and nothing else. I shouldn't have flitted between the two. That was a, a really bad move today. Oh, line then. Yeah, I should have gone with a, a long and short carp line. And that's it, which is, to be honest, is probably what most other people on the bank have done. But I thought I'd be a bit clever and try and throw that skimmer, skimmer line in, but say it's just not right. There's not enough skimmers feeding for whatever reason. And I don't know. So just a bad move to go in this sort of match. It should have definitely been carp or bust. But other than that, it's been all right. I've had a nice day. I've been able to wave at Andy all day. So it's been okay. But yeah, so I'm going to carry on with this. So I'm going to keep on pinging. So I've fed quite a bit of bait now. I've probably fed four pints of eight mils over the top of this, which seems a lot for, for the little that we've caught on it, but it's definitely making a difference ringing that dinner bell. Just getting the fish to, to come and have a look. I think it's just the odd fish passing through. And by not constantly, but regularly pinging just a few pellets, it seems to be grabbing their attention and they're homing in on that method. Whereas if I just feed and then cast out and leave it, just nothing happens whatsoever. I've got to make some noise and try and drag the odd new fish in the peg. So I'm going to carry on doing that. And say, so hopefully we'll get a bit lucky and get a couple more big ones in the last, last half hour. Got a tree as well. Bit of a tree, little F1. Oh, 
Big F1, rather. Big F1, isn't it? Got a bit angry that one then, didn't it? Thought that that had gone a little and now I've changed my mind. Yeah. I mean I thought it was like a little left one for a minute. It's not, is it? Catfish. Catfish. Ooh, I'd love something weird. Xander shark. A bluefin tuna. That's what it is. Definitely should have had a boring match, dude. Mm. You agreeing or? Yeah. The way to go on it. Dude, this could be a thirty pounder you're on about. I can have another loony white one. What? I can have another loony white one. Yeah. It's fighting like a loony white one, isn't it? Why did I pull so hard? I don't know. They think they're bullied because they're different, so they're like... Yeah. They All got a bit of an attitude. You caught me because I'm ginger, have you? That's what it is, isn't it? Come on, I want to have another cast now. His mate could be in the peg. Yeah, chuck the other rod out quick. Yeah, chuck the other rod out quick. Chuck them both out. <laughs> yeah, throw them both out. Dude, this is... You did really well. You had six fish in the last five minutes. Dude, this is massive. Did it? Yeah. It's massive or something's not right. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's pulled out and hooked the fin or something because it was. No, it's nodding again now. No, it's, no, it's alright. Let me just wrap round him. He's nodding again now. It's just massive, dude, that's all. See, it's like, it's not going to fit. It doesn't like it. I think it'll fit. It's just, they're like weird colour water. It's all shiny. I can't see it. Yeah. He's like rolled on it again now. Oh, he's a nice one to finish on anyway, isn't he? That's made me a bit happier. I am a carp angler after all. Why can't we have just caught them all day, love? You know, just little ones like that. <laughs> That's where he's up, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. Just slightly to the side a little bit, but still enough for me to be very happy.
put my boilies away as well. They like them. A little bit of salty crunch, they like them. Got one oh, I'm not catching one, am I? <laughs> Is it? It's literally that quick. That, that's made me happy. How big were they? 12 pound? I told you you'd get one. <laughs> no, fair play. Fair play, I agree. It's only skin bob square pants. Yeah, baby, I like that. That was a lovely little finish. Right, well, it definitely went. Well, the match was a million times not the way I was hoping it would go. But to be honest, I was quite happy with the finish. I'd say I was complaining to my cameraman with half an hour to go that I didn't think I was going to get any more. And then randomly, I've had one more little run at the end there where I've had another big F1. Another great big lad, probably about £12. And a skimmer as well. But what it has done that last hour, it's definitely made me feel like I've got my match completely wrong. I'm trying to fish for those skimmers. I should literally have had a, a really boring fish down one hole match. That would have been the way to go today. And it's what, to be honest, it's how I should have been fishing this sort of match where only the top eight are getting paid. But I just didn't feel that this area was capable. I mean, it, it, it's very, it, it's very peggy, this lake in that it's either that end that's really good or the early numbers that are really good. This, this middle section of the lake's always a bit dodgy, but there's definitely been a few here today, not a lot, but an odd one. I think uh, putting all my eggs in one basket on that one line where I was loose feeding and pellets, I think really that would have given me the best result. I wouldn't have had many bites, maybe five or six bites every hour, if that. But with the size of fish, I mean, I've had two fish there for £20 in the last hour. They could have really just, uh, maybe 10 of them. And before you know, you got £100 in the net. So I think that's the way I should have gone. But we're going to pack the kit away yeah, and wait and see how we do. I think we've got about £45, £50, which I had suck at the start. So if I can sneak in with that, who knows? But we'll find out in a minute. No, mate, no. But there, there was still fish to be caught, and I did it wrong. Yeah. I, I wimped out and tried to catch some skin bobs, yeah. and I shouldn't have. Yeah. You feel like you actually can't fish for skimmers, you know? Yeah. You there were a few of them, innit? Well, yeah. an hour's worth of skimmers is one bite on them, innit? Yeah. What is, innit? It's. Wow. Yeah, not bad. They caught down there, Mick, or? 41-1. Is that best? Yeah. Yeah. Now we're a bullhole for the court on the golf course. Clean water. More reliable. 23.4. Thank you, Nudge. <laughs> right, well, we've weighed, well, we weighed 64 pounds, which, to be honest, I had a proper tuck out at the start off here. That's, I mean, 60, 70 pounds. I'd have been well happy with that as my target weight from this little bit. So as it turns out, I'm really not happy now. It's just 100 pounds won, was won this section. We think that's going to win match, unless someone pushes it over there. After that, 70 pounds best over here, just around the corner on the on the sort of the carpy noted point. So I'm really, really annoyed myself now, to be honest. I definitely should have just fished that two lines and say, got job done. The, the carp are just so big. Those two that I've had at the end, that the £10 a piece, I was just in this sort of situation, as long as you're on the carp, which I definitely feel like I've been on the edge of them, I've had been a little bit more patient. So I just sat there, waited, tried to attract the fish with a bit of ping and waited for a bite. I think I'd have, potentially I could have pushed it, but who knows? So hopefully a bit of a different match today. So very different to what we normally do. Hopefully you got a little bit out of that and we will see you next time. £64.4 for 10th place. Taking up 200 quid, Paul Holland. Ninth place now, £64.5. Taking up 250 quid, Jamie Hughes.